Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. Lag Baomer is coming up, the day that commemorates the passing of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, also known as the Rashbi. Today we will create a painting incorporating two aspects of Lag Baomer, which we will discuss about soon. Here are the supplies that we will need. A canvas, the printed template of an open book, olive-based cookie cutters, olive-based stamps, a paintbrush, scissors, a sponge, liquid glue, and black, yellow, orange, and red paint. Let's begin. First cut out the open book template. On Lagba Omer, we have the custom to light bonfires. This is because the Torah, and especially the secrets within it, are compared to fire. Just as Rashbi revealed the secrets of Torah to all of us, we too can share with someone a part of the Torah that they don't yet know. We will create a background that somewhat resembles a bonfire, with the lightest color, the yellow, on the edges and the deepest shade, the red, in the center. Begin by sponging yellow paint over most of the canvas. It's exciting to teach something you know to someone who doesn't. Imagine for an example that you know how to play piano. Next, add orange paint to most of the canvas except for the border area and blend it with the yellow by dabbing your sponge where the two colors meet. You've learned how to read the notes and after practicing for many hours, days, weeks, and months, you have mastered three of your favorite songs. Next, sponge on red paint toward the center area, creating a fire effect. Your good friend Yessi wishes he could play too. You think, there's a reason Hashem gave me this skill. Aside from using my talent, maybe I can also teach it to Yessi. One day after school, Yessi comes over for his first lesson given by you. You can't teach him everything in one day, but you start with one small thing. Glue the open book onto the bottom of your canvas. This is not just any book, but a book of Torah. Now, add all of these letters coming out of the book to represent all the Torah, especially the Torah secrets that Rashbi revealed to the world. Dip an olive-based cookie cutter into the black paint and carefully stamp it onto the canvas. Think about where you want to place it down. Do the same with the other cookie cutters for however many letters you will include in your painting. Rashbi wrote the Zohar, a book that contains the secrets of the Torah, and revealed it to the world. Because of him, all Jews can now access the deepest parts of the Torah, strengthening their connection with Hashem. Since the secrets of the Torah are represented by fire, we honor Lag Baomer his Hilula, the day he passed away, by lighting bonfires. Next, use the paintbrush to carefully paint the olive base letters on the stamp and stamp them around the canvas. You can choose to do however many letters you think look best. Although we are not on the level of Rashbi, we can still take a lesson from his life. Just as Rashbi revealed and taught the deepest layers of Torah, you too can teach a part of the Torah you know to someone who may not yet know. There is a well-known teaching, if you know Aleph, teach Aleph. Even if you only know one olive base letter, one parsha, or one explanation within the Torah, you can share it with another person who doesn't yet know it. Allow everything to dry and then you're all done. We'll see you next week.